I was gazing out the window, looking at all the twinkling lights of Singapore and dreaming about going to America and maybe even meeting a good-looking man like Gerard Butler <laughs> or Danny DeVito. I wasn't picky. Well, since, since I hadn't paid any attention to what I was doing, I was totally surprised when 150 people burst out into all this thunderous applause. And I thought to myself, oops, <laughs> they're actually paying attention. Perhaps I should too. So I got them to do what I'm going to ask you to do now, which is clap your hands in tempo. Now you've got an idea of how exciting it was that evening. The atmosphere was just sizzling. And I was, I, it was, hey, it was almost like a Mary Kay convention. <laughs> and I was on a performer's cloud nine. You see, I knew I, I had the audience right here in the palm of my hand. And so you can guess how irritated I got when this man comes up to the piano, starts raining on my parade by yakking on about how nice it was to hear Argentina played so well. And was that my own arrangement? And yada, yada, yada. And I'm thinking to myself, dear Abby, this dude needs a new pickup line. So I burst out in good old Aussie style. I said, look, mate, can't you see I'm trying to concentrate? With that, he stepped back and said, I'm awfully sorry. My name is Andrew Lloyd Webber. Who are you? <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Webber's few words of praise turned my dream into reality. His words changed my beliefs about myself. You see, words are seeds for change. Words are a powerful tool that can be used creatively or destructively. And for that very reason, only share your dreams and goals with those kind of people who will encourage and support you because their words can help you change your mind and change your life. I hope that the words of encouragement that you hear at this conference will be the seeds of change that you need to realize your impossible dream. Has anybody ever heard New York, New York played as a waltz? them doing that on Dancing with the Stars. Just because you haven't heard it played that way doesn't make it bad or wrong. Just means there's another way to play the song. And so it is in life. There's always more than one way to look at a problem, find a solution, write a book, lose weight, or get a man. And I'm so not going there. 
if we just open our minds up to change and accept new people, new ideas, new ways of doing things. Have you ever been in a rut doing the same old thing because you're too afraid to try something new? We all know the definition of insanity. It's doing the same old thing the same old way and expecting different results. I had to get out of my rut and look at new ways of doing my speaking business. Heck, who am I trying to kid? I had to wake up and smell a Starbucks before I was forced to go work there. <laughs> I realized something very important at this stage of my life. I realized that fear is what you pass on the way to success. In fact, most people fail their way to success. Just take a look at history. take a lesson from Billy Joel. You see, when we face our fear and do it anyway, we become fearless. There was a famous acting school in Sydney that I wanted to attend, but first I had to find a job. Can you imagine the thrill I got when I actually landed a dream job after going on hundreds of interviews? I got this dream job in television production. I was the assistant of the assistant of the chief assistant to the executive assistant of the executive producer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was all that and a bag of chips. I thought to myself, woohoo, I'm this close to being on the other side of the camera. <laughs> Goodbye, Smallville. Hello, Brad. Well, I was on top of the world, you see. I was feeling totally independent for the first time in my life working for the biggest television game show producer in Australia and with my very own regular paycheck coming in. Then, after just six months, I got laid off. Oh, it was the worst day of my life. I'll never forget that feeling. I thought, why would God do this to me? Was she having a bad hair day? <laughs> the truth is, the worst day of my life was the best thing that ever happened. You see, that's when I became a professional musician. I got to realize my dream of being on a professional stage. I got to travel all around the world. And I even got to meet James Bond in Switzerland. <laughs> okay, everybody always asks me, which James Bond was it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. It was Roger Moore. <sighs> Thank you very much. Romance Rudders of America.